Hi friends, in this video I am gonna to show you how to create articulated rod of radial engine. In the next few lectures we will see different parts of the radial engine and we will make in the Creo and after that in the last video we will assemble all those parts and we will make final assembly of the radial engine. Here are the dimensions of the articulated rod. You can take screenshot for further use. Now we will move to the Creo. In order to in order to maintain all the parts of the radial engine in one folder we will make one working directory so we will click on working directory and on the desktop we will make a folder and we will name as radial engine and then ok and then ok so all the parts created in the different file are saved to the working directory it means from the folder of the radial engine at the desktop now we will create a new file so new and we will name uncheck this and we will name is a articulated dot articulated road and then ok now we will select millimeter kg second then ok So here you can see first we will make these two eyes and then we will make this and after that we will extrude cut this portion. So it is created in the first step. First we will extrude this, second we will extrude this, third we will make this middle portion and fourth we will make extruded cut. So first we will make these two portion. So the diameters are 50 and 24 and up to the depth of 28 so 50 24 and 28 so we will extrude on the top plane now there are two circles so one two and first one is 50 second one is 24 and up to the depth of 28 so it is 28 then ok first thing you should note that here we have extruded on the top plane so we have to extrude half half from the top plane so we will edit extrude and here we will select this mid extrude on both the sides so it is symmetric about the top plane and then ok now we will make second eye which is the diameter of 24 35 and up to the depth of 42 24 35 and 42 extrude top plane now we will draw two circles and with the dimension of 24 35 24 35 now we have to give the center distance between these two circles for that we have to give it the reference so we will give reference and then we will select this then close now we will give the center distance in between these two circles from the figure the center distance is 178 so we will select normal then the center of both the circles this control this and then this is 178 then ok then ok now we have to extrude this up to the depth of 42 mm so it is 42 and on the both sides then ok so now we have made both dies of articulated rod then we will make middle portion for middle portion we will first make this whole rectangle and then we will extrude this both so first we will make this portion and which is nothing but at the this is the 10 mm this is 80 mm so we will make 80 mm and to the both sides so extrude 
top plane now 80 mm on both the sides so here first we will give it reference now we have to draw two lines now the distance between these two lines is 18 mm so we will give the distance which is 18 mm and it is symmetric so this distance is 9 mm so we will give this distance is 9 so we so here we have made this 80 mm so it is rectangle and here you can see here the radius of 24 mm so here there is a fillet of radius 24 so we will make a circle with radius of 24 and we will give tangency to the both so 24 radius so we will make a fillet for this this and now of radius of 24 same way we will give fillet at the other side so fillet this this and of 24 similarly over here there is a fillet of radius also 24 because here there is not mentioned so we will take 24 so fillet this this and 24 same way fillet this line this circle and 24 now in order to make close sketch we have to make this both the circles and then we will delete segment so we will make this both the circles now we will delete the segments so we will delete these segments this segment control z this segment and then these segments this 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 segment these segments now this segment this segment this segment this segment this segment this segment then this segment we have to also delete this segment and this segment so here you can see that it is a closed sketch and now we have to extrude it up to the depth of 18 mm so we will extrude it up to 80 mm and on the both sides extrude on both the sides and then ok so here we have make this articulated rod now we have to extrude cut this portion we have to extrude cut this portion so that we will extrude on this surface now we will give first reference this circle this line this line this circle now you can see we fear first we will draw two circles first one and this one and then we will join these two by the line so here the this distance between the two line is 10 mm so the radius of the circle is 5 mm so we will draw the two circles one over here second over here with the radius of 5 at a distance of 130 so we will draw two circles we 
with the radius of 5 and diameter of 10 then we will give the center distance in between them here center distance which is nothing but 130 mm so 130 mm and the distance of this circle from this eye is 24 mm so we will give the distance in between this one and two is it 24 mm now we will join these by the two lines and now we will delete the segment and then ok now we have to extrude cut on the both sides up to the depth of here it is 5m and it is 8m so we have to remove 30mm from both the sides so we will extrude cut 6.5mm on this side and 6.5mm on this side so we will extrude 6.5mm and we will flip direction and we will extrude cut then ok now here it is symmetric on both the sides so we will give mirror to it so mirror and about top plane and then ok so our articulated rod is complete and in future videos we will make different compounds of radial engine and we will assemble radial engine thank you